In this video, I'm going over installing Snap packages. Everything you wanted to know as far as installing, refreshing, reinstalling, reverting, and then even seeing which ones are installed and your overall history. Coming up. This video is brought to you by Purism, makers of the Librem 5 phone. Pre-orders will be going up by $50 at the end of July. All right, so let's start out by installing snap packs. We just do a sudo apt install snapd. All right, with snap installed, we can now move on to finding our snap package. So let's say we want to find Blender and do some 3D rendering. So let's do sudo snap find blender. This kind of tells us what all blender packages are available. We would probably want the standard blender package. However, there's a lot of new features in 2.8, but let's go ahead and install blender 2.79 and then upgrade it to the beta channel. So uh, we can easily install our snap package after finding it by doing sudo snap install blender. And this right here says, hey, it's using a classic confinement, meaning it's not been updated to the new snap standards. Um, we can easily just go dash dash classic when we see this message. So this goes ahead and downloads Blender and installs it for us just like that. All right, so now that Blender is installed, let's see what other snap packages we have by just a pseudo snap list. We have Blender installed, Discord installed, Notepad++, and then the rest of those look like dependencies to me. So uh, that just kind of gives you a basis of what we're dealing with right now. So let's go ahead and change some things here. So let's say you have a snap package that's not performing properly. We can do a refresh. So let's go studio snap refresh Blender. And basically, this is the same as a reinstallation. So let's say you have an older version of Blender, and then all of a sudden, the Blender version that you want to install is on the stable release, but it never actually updated. You can refresh it. It checks to see if there's any updates available, and then installs it. But let's say you didn't want to install that. In the same session, you can do sudo snap revert Blender. And this will actually revert Blender back to the older version should you update to a version that you're not happy with. And if we want to simply remove Blender, we can do a sudo snap remove Blender. And this would actually remove the program. I'm not actually going to run this command just because I kind of want to keep it installed and do an in-place upgrade here in a few. So let's say we don't want that 2.79. We want the new hotness, the new uh, features that come with 2.8 Blender that have a lot of sweet features. So let's go ahead and do a refresh Blender. And then instead of hitting enter here, this is the key. We do dash dash channel equals beta. Now what this does is instead of it says, hey, refresh Blender, but this time, Let's check the beta channel instead of the stable channel and see what we have. So there we go. So it refreshed Blender with the beta channel and upgraded it to the 2.8. So if we do a sudo snap list again, we'll notice Blender is now on 2.8. Pretty darn awesome. So that was snap packages. A lot of people don't like snaps because they come from canonical. However, some of them are the most refined and possibly the best independent distribution packages out there. I really like snaps just because of all these different features where you know you have flat packs and app images that have uh, different ways of going about to achieve the same thing. But uh, snaps are slowly becoming one of my favorites when it comes to distribution agnostic uh, packages. I really, really enjoy them because of everything I laid out in this video. But with that said, let me know your comments down below because uh, there's a lot of debate. Flat pack, app image, snap. Uh, personally, snap's starting to actually edge ahead where it used to be my last place. 
But that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know where yours. And a big shout out to my patrons. Without you, these videos would not be possible. And I'll see you in the next one.